Welcome back, guys. This is episode 7 of the Ultimate Iron series. Last episode, I got myself the zombie axe and 70 smithing to repair it. So now we have our best early bossing weapon in general for upcoming things like Perilous Moon. And that is something we are trying to get ready for, but we have a lot of important upgrades to get along the way. It's time to work on barrels for the tank armor. That means we're super close to the Perilous Moon grind, but I do need to do ideally Shades of Morn because if I complete this quest, I get the good old minigame teleport uh, right here. And that teleports me really close to barrels. If I'm going to camp it, I definitely need this teleport. Since I don't have the barrels telly, my mage is too low, so that's our best thing that we can do. Shades of Morn quest can be pretty difficult because building the temple without the right equipment by yourself is not easy but there is a dedicated shades of morn world so that temple is basically always built so it's pretty free if you use that world there we go nice quest done sweet oh nice also give me 39 uh herbal as well all right we're pretty much ready to go i just got a suicide and get some prayer uh, potions out and my rune arrows and yeah we're good to go oh shit that's sick okay nice so even if I die with a upgraded version of the gauntlets, I can get it back the same way that it was. So huh. I don't have to pay the extra cash. All right. So I think I'm pretty much ready for barrels though. So this is basically my setup for when I mage with the uh, chaos gauntlets. I know it's so weird, but it should work, especially with the 50% extra accuracy boost because of air spells on the barrels. I should be fine on pretty much all the brothers. And then for arms, we just, you know, put on our MSB rune arrows and mess it up. I mean, 100 range accuracy. I've done this before, so let us begin, guys. We're going to do arms and carols first. Just because I want to make sure I use the prayers for the two that really, really matter, so... But yeah, as you can see, the Rune Arrows is absolutely shredding it. We're just destroying it even with Green Dehide, so. Ouch. But yeah, that was not bad at all. I should be able to have no trouble hitting this guy. Holy shit, look at that. 19 with Air Bolts. Oh my god. Oh, 21. Holy shit, that's crazy. Hitting 21s. Nice. And I still have some prayer left. The plan is to just do enough barrels until my minigame teleport reset. Alright, here we go. Oh, what? No! Tank helmet? I'm not gonna lie, initially I thought a helmet would be kind of pointless, but I quickly realized that there's no way I'm just gonna go to barrels and just get a perfect top and bottom without any extra items. It makes sense to actually fill the master stash unit, as you can see right by the chest room because you can store a full set of barrels gear i actually want like a full set of melee gear so it's actually pretty good like completing full guttons wouldn't be bad but pretty much anything like torax and darx is also something we have to get done before we leave barrels just so we don't waste the extra gear that we get not to mention having a storable high level melee set is super nice because i can just take it in and out for whatever i want or questing, uh, DKs, Perilous Moon, or whatever, and then I can switch to skilling, no problem. Oh, nice. Barrow's Novice, combat achievement test, done. Sweet. I think it's worth it to imbue my magic shortbow, because I don't think I'm going to really put in the looting bag much. The extra accuracy and the ability to shoot two specs back to back is pretty pretty good for uh, Arams, so. Yay, 69 magic. Oh, it does. Red. Red can do it. So I guess as soon as I get 78 magic, I can boost to make the barrels portal. We're going to stock up freaking death runes like no tomorrow. And the best part is because I'm not using death runes at barrels at all, which is a first for me. I am getting all of the death runes strictly for uh, other content, other grinds. So that's really cool. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Chug, bro. Look at that safe spotting technique. God damn. I'm oh oops. <laughs> oh, I got barrels. Champion C is done. Nice. Oh, because I got 25 KC. Easy. 
Oh my god, I just hit a 30 with fire freaking bolts. <laughs> Chaos Gauntlet and 100% damage. Holy shit, man, with fire bolts? I'm getting like 50k an hour. And I am I have so many Chaos Runes from barrels. Like, oh my god. Definitely want to get to 78. So we'll definitely use the Chaos Runes and the Mine Runes, I guess, too. I got Sunny Magic just now. So that's, I think, 8 more levels to go. Then I can boost for the barrels portal in my house. Boy, 71 magic. All right, new day. And we're going to be doing a lot of barrels, of course. But I actually want to do a little bit more construction because I want to drop the plank sack. But I don't want to drop the plank sack unless I actually have enough points to buy it back if I decide to do a future construction. I only need like 100 more points, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, so we're going to do the blast furnace method for steel bars because i have the uh, smithing level to make it easy so we just buy a bunch of ore here and then just make a bunch of steel bars here and just have it hold it and i take like maybe yeah like five or something out at a time uh let's grab six instead yeah there we go all right let's see there we go 81 con i guess that's a little bit easier to boost for future stash units and construction stuff all right there we go that's enough points okay let me just double check the cost here okay plank sack 350 points and we have 351 so there we go goodbye plank sack you've done a great service here we go oh no what a troll oh no this this isn't really the tank armor though Keep it for now. See what happens. <gasps> oh, fuck. oh my god. That's dangerous. Ay uh, Double Carol spawn? Come on, bro. They, they've never fixed that glitch. Oh my god. No way. Mother Trucker. Third item. It's Carol's Coif. Alright, boys. We just hit 72 magic. Getting a bit closer. But yeah, we're starting off our AFK to wrap up the night. Yo, no way, it's the number. Five more levels to go, guys. Oh, shit, we also have 50 barrels, KC. Oh. Wait, these skeletons are weak to air spells, too? Holy shit. Oh, wait, 81 hit points. What? Times like this, you know, you just want to kill Carols as fast as possible. So we're going to use those airwaves using blood runes. I can hit 30s. All right, boys, it is time to make some prayer pots. Uh, first time actually making potions. But I do have 111 Raynards just from farming whatever I can get. Hmm. Actually, how about this? Yeah, how about we do it like this? Grab snake grass like this and then just fair rain back. Yeah, I guess it's better. It's going to take a little bit, but it's worth it. Let's just do all 111 Raynards. Hey, we just hit 40 Herblur. Let's go. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, we can also make super attacks, which is really good. But I do have to always drop two of these every time. But yeah, we can do it like this, I guess. There we go. We have already found a slightly nicer way of going about this. Whoa, nice, man. I didn't know we were going to get more than one herb level. Nice. Actually, at this rate... We're going to get, like, one more. We're going to get to 42. Nice. 42. There we go. Nice. Got all the prayer potions done. So I have, like, I want to say 80 prayer pots. Four doses. But anyways, we just hit 74 magic. Sweet. Four more levels and I can make the portal, do it, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. No way. Forex flail, bruh. We could store full Varax. I wonder what happens first. Full Varax? Or I get my top and bottom. Alright, here we go. 75 magic. Here we go. Dang it. Alright, triple digits now. And we still haven't gotten any proper tank top and bottom. Uh, with that being said, let's take a little break. I need to clean up my looting bag. We're going to take out these cosmic runes here. I'm actually going to use it so I can train my magic. For some pretty uh, nice XP. Also going to take away some other junk stuff too. Clean up some of these 
gold ores, these coal as well, out some of these items. All right, smithing stuff is done. I put all the uh, coal that I can. The extra coal, I just made mithril plates using the mithril ore here. Pretty straightforward strategy. Really, really simple. You just enchant. Everything's capped at 59 XP though, so I can just use Ruby. And that works. And you just gotta be mindful of your clicks, right? You just gotta be efficient about it. Dang, okay, the rates are looking really good. So you can definitely get it pretty high depending on your effort, but it seems to be stabilizing around like 120k an hour, which is so freaking good. So definitely worth it. But these cosmic runes, you get so much out of it. So if you have any spare cosmic runes, particularly on the ultimate or I guess any iron, it's pretty insane here. There it is, 76 magic, guys. Holy moly. We're gonna be able to get at least another level with all these cosmics. I think a lot of players will be turned off by this method just due to the pure clicking. I'm definitely probably not gonna, you know, rely on this method long term. Just trying to use up these cosmics and we're done. Alright, the cosmic runes are coming hella clutch with another magic level. We're so close to the freaking barrels portal, man. It's gonna make grinding this barrels uh top and bottom tank gear and i guess a full set so much nicer well that's it i've used up all my cosmics and wow <laughs> this is insane i was getting 122k an hour i, get, I gained like 200k plus xp in uh less than two hours man holy that's so good um 70k to 78 guys wowzers Damn, we ended with 12,600 enchantment points. I will probably need to get some stuff like Bones to Peaches and whatever from here. So I guess as far as enchantment side goes, we're pretty much done. And good luck. Oh, yes! Torag Legs. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, man. Varax Skirt would have been nice, though, to go with the uh, the potential full Varax. But yo, Torag's Legs, let's go. Yes, look at that defense increase. Oh my god, dude. I got myself... Let's see if I can. There we go. 78 magic. It is time to finally build ourselves a decent altar. So I'm not going to build marble and gilded yet because it's too expensive for my budget. But the limestone one still gives you bonus. I think two times uh, XP when you use a bone on it. So just nice to have. And also, of course, it's an altar i can get my uh, prayer back so the idea is uh have the barrels portal set up i go to my house i just pray up and then i just go through the portal oh yeah that's right i also need to buy the blood runes okay we got it double check wait where's it red spice nice all right so it's time to get some red spices luckily i've prepped my wally cats from a bit ago but yeah we need those red spices for a combat boost I can get a plus five mage boost with it, so. The Wily Cat is so f***ing good. Holy. I've only had to feed it once. Oh, I got it. Let's go third try. That wasn't so bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the Barrow's Telly? Oh, there we go. Holy crap. That's so hard to find. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Dang it. <laughs> I accidentally made it on the wrong spot. Great. Dang it. I, did, I, I was in a rush. All right, check this out, guys. So we're going to go to Barrows now. So from the Warriors Guild, we're going to go... If we need a recharge prayer, we go Altar, and then we just run straight to the Barrows portal. It's just that cracked. Nice. Look at that. Anyways, we hit 74 attack. We're just going to train a lot of attack. Yeah, I should probably complete these right now while I'm working on this. Like, they're all realistic now, so... Zero prayer barrels one. Super easy, especially now that I have some good tank armor. I'll just tank all the melee guys minus barrels. Uh, Darox guy. I'll just spawn him downstairs. Okay, we're gonna complete the zero prayer task. I believe. Yes, we did. Nice. All that's left is DDS and the one where the melee guys can't touch you. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, well, that was, that's pretty good. There we go. That was pretty straightforward. Oh, I've completed easy uh, combat achievements. I actually didn't even notice. Huh. 
So I get asked a lot about medium combat achievements to do barrows. I would say unless you're going to do it for fun, it is not worth doing it just to start some barrows because you basically have two options. You effectively leech a bunch of raids with your high level friends, which defeats the purpose for me personally, you know, why I play this account. So I wouldn't do that. Or you have to train your slayer level, do a bunch of quests to a pretty advanced degree so that you can actually even do some of these tasks. Unfortunately, the medium CAs aren't actually new account friendly. It's more for people that have already progressed their accounts to a pretty high level. And then the diaries is just free. All right, sweet. We got the Carol's Tunnel, which means all four of the Melee brothers are up on the on their respective graves. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to drink the Wizard's Mind Bomb. Then I can cast the Entangle spell. So I'm just going to run away from them as early as possible. All right, so for this one, there you go. One, two, three, four. There you go. Oh. All right. All right, we good. Yes, there you go, boys. One, two. Don't let your guard down. Three. Hey, nice. Sweet. Now we just gotta loot the chest. Can't touch me. Dan and nah, nah, nah. Nice. Okay. Well, that's all the barrel CAs done. That's cool. Alright, loot time. Oh my god, no way. Carol's top? Bruh. Try again. Oh my god, Vrax home. Oh my god, oh my god. That's actually crazy. Three out of four Vrax. Holy shit. What's gonna happen first, guys? Do I complete a set of barrels before I get the tank top? Before we jump back on some more barrels, let's look at some of the other stuff that I've been working on behind the scenes when I'm like AFKing and just, you know, doing stuff in between my barrels runs. Oh man, this zombie axe is slapping. Oh man, so much better than D skim here. Let us see. Whoa, Catentines though. That's really nice. Holy shit, that was 50k XP. So good. Nice. There we go. Now I can grow uh, these Catentines. Boys, we have a little bit problem involving Tears of Guthix because now both cooking and fletching is my lowest skill. Herbaler has actually gone to the point where it's higher. I'm back to making some more arrows, I guess. Yeah, we're just going to go AFK some range, I guess, with these arrows. But cooking, uh, yeah, I need to work on that. But luckily, there is some easy uh, ways to do cooking. I think I'm going to grab some corn from Volumor real quick. We're going to do this method here. And it's uh, very simple for the most part. Right, just fill your inventory. I'll go here. Just cook the sweet corn and you drop it that's it yeah all right this is a very rough xp per hour and considering i do not even have a max inventory it's still saying i'm getting about 60k an hour so you can definitely get like probably close to 100k an hour if you have like graceful on you and you have a maxed out inventory all right there we go 43 cooking that was super fast i've been here for like only a few minutes all right this is probably the last fletching level but it is so freaking good look at this Technically, over 150k fletching XP an hour. Insane fletching XP. I think I'll probably just continue buying arrow shafts and the arrow heads from Ranger Guild and buying feathers from a fishing shop and just keep training my fletching this way. It's just so convenient, very UI friendly, and not too expensive. Hey, nice 43 prayer. Anything to feed XP onto Herbler, I'm willing to do. It's time to switch back to AFKing at Amulet Crabs just because I finished my magic goal. So I think it's better off to AFK uh, range, I guess, at this point. And get some more fossils and also seaweed spores from the Amulet Crabs when I am just chilling or editing videos. Nice. First range level back at the crab. Alright, just hit 69 range. And yeah, we're just going to keep going, man. Like These steel arrows are actually really good. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, I got a blessing. Let's go. That's actually really good. Oh, holy as well. Wow. Could probably use it for like God Wars, actually. 
and uh, just take it out whenever I want. That's really nice. Nice. I just got 45 herbler. More like lamping skill, right? 1475 total, boys. I am uh, basically trying to make sure these stats are constantly higher than herb. All right, guys. 47 cooking. I think that's where we're going to stop for a bit. Oh, shit. Boys, 70 range. Yeah, I'm not even going to actually wear Black Dehyde, though. Because the ultimate Iron Man, it's just... It's all about that mix hides coming up in the future, so... Yo, nature implants. Nice. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some uh, willow seeds real quick. Willow trees for an uh, enlightening journey one of these days. Because that's super annoying. Going to try on the OUIM, but we'll get it eventually. Alright, guys. We got 59 Hunter, and somehow... I can't get this will seat. <laughs> I'm getting like troll. Come on, right now. Boom. Oh, I got it. Yes. Hey, nice. We got a, a common achievements from his worry. I'm going to try to unlock piety today. But as you can see, I still need to do Black Knight's Fortress. One small favor. We got to do like three more quests. Shallow Village done. I can actually access Shallow Village. There we go. We're going to get ourselves some XP lands, which for the first time ever, I am not going to put this on prayer. We're going to put this on uh, good old Herbler now, which is definitely the play. 46 Herbler into 47, which means I got to train my cooking and fletching again for tears. But yeah, really nice. Getting closer to 70 for free. There it is. Nice. We got it. King's Ransom done. Oh, wait. There was an XP lamp this whole time? What 50 though? Oh no, it's a 50 statter. Oh, it's only 5,000 XP. It's not even that big of a deal. But yeah, okay. We should be able to do this, no problem. I got a zombie axe. I think that should clear. There we go. Flinch time. Yeah, this is a little challenging right now with our uh, lack of food. But good old flinching strat, I guess. There it is, we're done after uh, having to flinch half of them, but we did it anyways. Yes, oh, well, I didn't get a single level, but we do have piety now, so that's really freaking nice. Nice, we completed a uh, already hard diary. I just had all these palm tree seeds from like way back. All right, got some more range levels. Okay, well, more range levels are good. Frog token also give uh, XP lamps too. Oh, nice. Look at this. You can get the XP lamp like that now. So freaking good. Anyways, we are back. All right. We got some nice runes to start off. Not bad. Oh, I got it. Holy shit. Tank top. Oh, my God. No way. I actually got it. Second KC bag. No freaking way, dude. OMG. That's freaking awesome. All right. Well, there's only one goal left. And I guess that's just to try to complete a set. One of the biggest goals for Perilous has been done. And also Karos, dude. If I have to fight Karos downstairs. Like with this chunky defense. It's Jover. It is straight Jover, dude. Look how much defense I have right now. Damn, 257 range defense, man. Insane. <gasps> what? No, the uh, dupe. First ever dupe. Bryce Broussard. Okay, well, I guess I, I'm going to out it. What? No way, Aram's f***ing skirt, dude. Realistically, completing one full set of barrels might take a while. Thankfully, I do not need to actually stick to barrels the whole time. I am going to be working on some other more realistic upgrades that is not so RNG, like Fire Cape and things like that in the next video. But we're also going to be unlocking our new, basically best in slot range armor that's storable for a very long time. So look forward to that. But that's a wrap for today's episode. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you guys soon.